Did you know that 45% of the population suffers from chronic disorders that cannot be currently managed with medication? As a result, billions of dollars are spent on drug research and development. However, due to low absorption levels in the body, nearly 25% of the drugs in development never reach commercial status. And for classes of large molecule drugs, like those being developed to treat rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, and psoriasis, drug absorption levels in the body are even more significantly impaired. One of the challenges for the absorbance of large molecule drugs is the barrier function imparted by specific types of cells. These cells are called epithelial cells, and they form a protective barrier around each of your organs. Think about your skin and how it protects your entire body from its external environment. The epithelial barrier around your other organs works in much the same way, surrounding each of your organs and protecting it from its external environment. So how do we overcome this barrier to drug delivery? Current approaches, like injection, work well to bypass this epithelial barrier when the target organ, like the skin, is easily accessible. But how do we increase drug absorption for harder to reach organs, like the lungs or the intestine? My thesis project aims to answer that question. To do this, I treat cells, epithelial barrier forming cells from these organs with biodegradable protein coated nanoparticles. And what I've found so far is that treating these cells with these nanoparticles increases the ability of large molecules to move past the epithelial barrier. And in fact, this research has also identified the uh, pathway that allows for this increase in absorbance, which we believe is an interaction between two proteins, integrin and actins. In normal barrier-forming epithelial cells, like you see on the left, integrins are located at the cell surface, while actin is situated within the cell like an unstretched rubber band. The spatial separation between these two proteins acts as a stop sign at the barrier, which prevents the movement of large molecules, like most drugs, through the barrier into the target organ on the other side. Now we can disrupt this normal barrier function by treating these cells with nanoparticles that target the integrins at the surface of the cell. When we treat cells with these nanoparticles, what we see is that actin stretches like a rubber band being pulled, allowing it to interact with integrins. This pulling creates tension within the cell that causes that stop signal at the barrier to change to a go signal, permitting the movement of large molecules through the barrier. Now this represents just a snapshot of what happens after we treat the cells with nanoparticles. And in order for this to be useful information, we need a more complete picture of the pathway that causes this increase in absorption, which is what the rest of my thesis project hopes to understand, with the goal of identifying new drug targets that can be used by pharmaceutical companies to increase drug absorption and get more medications to patients who need it.